Dear Negro, a narrative beat poem by Pablo. Dear Negro, I write this letter with much trepidation, for I am one of you, and by you, I'm specifically referring to my people with dark skin, labeled black convenience and other earthly sins, my people whose roots are in the vast continent of Africa, my people whose souls ache with the blood-stained heritage of pain and suffering and exploitation and domination and death down from the very first generations of Africans shackled, shipped, and sold on these distant shores as slaves, slaves I say, slaves. Do you understand what it takes to enslave a man, or a woman, or a child, or millions of men, women, and children for over 400 years? Surely it could not have been God's divine intention, as some with evil intent have conveniently proclaimed to eternally condemn an entire subgroup of the human species he or she created to an everlasting status of inferiority based purely on pigmentation to permanently brand us as less than the rest as destined to serve as unfit to lead the species by virtue of one phenotype dominant phenotype at that. How ironic. How paradoxical. How wrong. But irony is lost on predators. They by nature are not equipped with any such discerning faculty vis-a-vis -vis prey. They, by nature, are programmed to hunt, dominate, and kill in order to survive and thrive. So it comes as no surprise that such predators would not bat an eye or lose any sleep, inflicting the worst atrocities known to man, inflicting centuries worth of crimes against humanity, black and brown, with impunity to satisfy their hunger for prey, cheap labor, wealth, and power. Indeed, it takes a selfish, duplicitous, cold-blooded, and evil mindset to preach and pray simultaneously, to quote scripture and pray on Sunday morning, then brutally hang innocent black men and women and children from poplar trees at the town square a mere few hours later, as the sun slips away in the distant horizon. Such a mindset exemplifies the devil's incantation, survival of the fittest. Say it, sing it, understand it, then fight it by any means necessary.